Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Hunt, coming at y'all with another banger. I want to apologize, man. I'm, like, super sick, bro. I think I got COVID. I'm going to have to go get tested and do a whole bunch of stuff, you feel me? But I just want to apologize. I've been inactive. This is kind of a late upload. I know everybody's already basically posted what I'm about to post right now. But as y'all can see by the title, man, we just going to get straight into it. We're going to talk about the Season 5 rewards, everything that they bring into Season 5 and how it could possibly make 2K, you know, revive 2K a little bit. Make sure y'all drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications if you're new. It's very much appreciated, and let's get straight into so it. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the screenshot up on the um, on the screen, you feel me? I'm gonna pull it up on my phone so I can actually read this to y'all. All right, so basically it says, over the course of season five, power within, ascend and become a hero on and off the court by completing quests and challenges around the city, yada, 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 as in previous, seasons you'll embark on a six week journey so 41 days you know same old climbing each level in hopes of reaching the peak of level 40 along the way you'll earn a plit i don't know why to use words like this bro animation packs seasonal apparel badge points and a futuristic hoverboard at level 40 there will also be more there should be more wait that should be more than enough to motivate you. It's definitely not, bro. It's definitely not. I just want to let y'all know the hoverboard is all right. Getting a hoverboard for free is a W. I seen what the hoverboard looks like. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. That is a W. But I ain't gonna lie. Like the rest of this ain't really like a W. You know what I'm saying? Clothes, the badge points a W. Yeah, but like the, the clothes, regular animations and stuff like that. That's regular seasonal rewards. You know they're usually super mid, anyways. But there is also a grand prize waiting for you at level 40. Y'all will be able to choose your mascot, all right? So for next gen, you're gonna get an affiliation mascot at level 40. Whatever affiliation you're with, you're gonna get an affiliation mascot. I'm gonna pop up on the screen what those look like. And then if you're on current gen, you get to pick one of the mascots from the NBA teams for free. So you get to pick one mascot for free. I don't know if it's gonna be like 300,000 VC to buy mascots after you actually, you know, after you actually hit level 40. And if they're going to be gone after season five, you never know. But um, I think that would be one thing. If they're gone after season five, then that would make them a little bit more exclusive because then, I don't know. Let me know how y'all feel about it. I personally think it's a W. A lot of people be saying I be hating in my videos about 2K. I really don't be hating, man. I just be wanting them to do better with the game. I'm not going to sit here and say stuff is amazing. If I personally don't feel like it's amazing, you feel me? I'm not going to, you know, make y'all like, I don't know, bro. I just feel like a lot of people just be saying stuff is good when it's not really good. This season, I personally, mascot, hoverboard, it's a W, man. I'm going to get the mascots. I'm going to lock the hoverboard. I hope they have the college mascots in the game because if y'all don't know, they leak college mascots. I don't know if they're going to be in the game, but if they are, that's going to be a huge W to like, at least if everybody has mascots, you see damn near different mascots. You feel me? At least it would be like that. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I feel like that's what they kind of tried to do with the tiger with the different colors made it so we're like, if you do see tigers a lot, you usually see a different color, but I feel like that still didn't really work. I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think. Legends, I know a lot of legends is thinking they finna start off like 10 levels deep into the season. They think they're gonna get some extra awards or might start off at 40. I have no clue, bro. I hope that y'all do get something because if level 40 just gets the tiger, they get the uh, skeleton mascot, regular mascots, then really legend was, wasn't even something to grind for, bro. For a parrot, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like we're under we're underestimating the legend reward because they, they got to have something up their sleeve. You know what I'm saying? Because that was bad. So hopefully they do have something up their sleeve as far as for people who already hit legend. I'm not even a legend, and I'm hoping that y'all get something better. So hopefully y'all get something better. Season rewards don't look too bad, man. So we just got to wait till the season comes out. Y'all know I'm going to be going live for the season dropping, and then we're going to play with subs, go crazy, you feel me? Until the next banger, your boy Hunting is out. This y'all update on the new seasonal rewards, everything like that. And yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next upload. I'm uploading another video today on how y'all can get double XP for the start of season five. And the new XP token glitch because somebody told me the one for current gen got patched. So, yeah, got a new one. Y'all gonna see that later today. And let's get straight into the next banger for the day, man. I appreciate y'all for watching.